Today, we'll hear statements by the honorable members for the District of Umber Bay of Highlands, Labrador West, Placentia St. Mary's, Mount Pearl Southlands, and Mount Pearl North. The honorable the member of Humber Bay of Highlands. Last weekend, the Newfoundland and Labrador Volleyball Association started their season with the Volley West Tournament held in Cornerbrook. 39 teams from across the province competed in both the junior and senior high school levels. Today, I'm very pleased to recognize the Templeton Tigers junior high girls and senior high girls teams from Templeton Academy in Meadows who both won gold in the tier two divisions and brought home two banners for the school. Their hard work, team spirit, and sportsmanship ensured that they could win while at the same time having fun and doing their best. Congratulations also to the coaches, Greg Sharp with the junior team, Chantel Brake and Glendale Payne with the senior team. On the weekend of no November 3rd and 4th, both teams will be competing in the Volley Central Tournament with the junior competition being held at Grand Falls, Windsor, while the senior team will be in Lewisport. I ask all members to join me in extending congratulations to the Templeton Tigers senior and junior high school teams and wish them all the best um, ha as they get ready for their next competitions. Great job, ladies. The Honorable, the member Labrador West. Thank you, Speaker. I rise today to acknowledge an alternative rock band based at a Labrador city in Wabush called Tarmageddon. Tarmageddon was formed by Scott Neary, Jen Edwards, and Matt Soper. Tarmageddon has earned four Music NL nominations to date, including two Alternative Group of the Year. Their video, Nightmare Song, was recently nominated for Video of the Year by Music NL. The trio has come together in 2021 as a COVID project, live streaming concerts from their living room. When the venues opened back up, they began to play in local bars and the Arts and Culture Center. Over the past year, our, our Tarmageddon has toured Arts and Culture Centers across Newfoundland and Labrador and played the opening ceremonies of the Labrador Winter Games and opened for the Dorena Harvey Band in Wabush. In collaboration with Brad Dillon, Tarmageddon has released three music videos, all showcasing Labrador City and Wabush locations, including Smoky Mountain Ski Club and the Cash Nightclub. In such a short amount of time, Tarmigan has accomplished much, much more, and on behalf of Labrador West, I'd like to thank them for continuing to showcase Lab West in their work. I ask all members in this honorable house to join me in wishing Scott, Jen, and Matt continued success with their band. The Honorable the Member of Placentia, St. Mary's. Speaker, Hilda Whalen has been the mayor of Whitburn for 12 years. Born on October 6, 1948, she has seen her share of personal adversity. Adversity that has molded her go-getter personality and positive attitude. When Hilda's mother was 36, she passed away, leaving 10 children under the age of 12. Hilda was six. Hilda's first husband, Ron Phillips, was killed in an accident. At 19, she found herself a widow with a 22-month-old and a six-week-old. Nine years later, she married Bill Whalen. Bill encouraged her to go back to school. In three months, she had completed 36 credits, graduated, and then completed an administrative program. Hilda led the pursuit for pensions to be returned to widows from workers' compensation. She was given a standing ovation in this House of Assembly for this accomplishment. She has battled cancer and won. Hilda has been recognized by the Army Cadets for her contribution to their movement. She is a volunteer with the Lions Club and president of the local 55-plus association. Today, she is focused on improving the application of the Practice Ready Assessment Model for Physicians. Hilda's motto is, do it. Thank you, Speaker. The Honourable the Member of Mount Pearl Southlands. Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased to rise this honourable house to recognise the accomplishments of five amazing community volunteers who have given much of their time and talents to the people of Mount Pearl as members of the Kinnett Club of Mount Pearl. This past March, Ms. Deidre Levanier received a certificate from Kin Canada for 50 years of service. What an incredible legacy of community involvement. In April, Donna Collins, Marion Joy and Kim Smith were presented with their life memberships the highest award that can be bestowed on a kin member. And in June, our colleague and my good friend, Lucy Stoyles, received a Kin Atlantic District 7 Zone D Richard Levanier Memorial Outstanding Presence Award 
in recognition of her community commitment and leadership in her role as president of the Mount Pearl Canets. There is so much praise I could heap on all of these amazing ladies, many personal stories I could share, working side by side with them through various community events and initiatives. But I'll just say thank you. You are valued, you are appreciated, you are awesome. I ask all members to join me in recognizing these, am these amazing volunteers, thanking them for their outstanding service to the community. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honorable the Member Mount Pearl North. Speaker, I rise in this Honorable House today to pay tribute to one of the largest, the longest serving groups, the Mount Pearl Lions Club. April 17, 1956 was their charter night when they laid the foundation for one of the finest service groups in our province. For almost 70 years, this group have continued to show us what community support is all about. One fine example of this is the Mount Pearl Santa Claus Parade, which they have organized since their conception. They have collected thousands of pairs of eyeglasses, and in 2016, they even went to Haiti with Team Broken Earth and delivered the gift of sight. Plus, they, they have donated thousands of pairs of eyeglasses to our local prisons. The Lions Club have present, the Lions Club are present in our schools as well as they organize and sponsor public speak-offs each year. The members of the Lions Club are very community-minded. They continue their great work while they still deliver our community suppers. They also help fund the Max Sims camp and many other community activities. Speaker, I ask all members to join me and say thank you to this amazing group.